Hello, everyone. Today, another minifigure review. Really quick before I get started, a uh, quick disclaimer these are not anything to do with Legos, Lego minifigures, anything like that. These are considered like knockoff, fake Legos, off brand, whatever you want to call them. But we'll get into it now. I got, I went to uh, Motor City Comic Con again, 2018 this year. Um, got some more knockoff minifigs. If you want to check out my other video, you can click right up here. I'll link will be down below for it. That one was like a year ago, I think. Um, but we'll get right into the, uh, these fake minifigures. Uh, I got a few and a big figure, which I'm actually pretty excited for that one, even though it's fake. Uh, so I guess we'll start with him first. He's the eye popper of them all. And you can already see who it is. The Incredible Hulk. And um, uh, he looks good. He's a decent printing quality, at least on the pants and the face. Uh, one thing I do like about him that LEGO didn't do is, with theirs is the head is removable. And the head can swivel. So you can see right here, it does have that swivel piece. So he can turn his head 360 all the way around. And the hair piece is removable. And you can actually put it in um, other Lego pieces. Uh, uh, sorry, not Lego pieces. Minifigure pieces, off-brand pieces. Whatever you want to say. I don't really want to combine really. But uh, that's one thing I do like about it is the head is removable. Can swivel. Uh, might make it a little bit better for uh, stop-motion videos really. Uh, but again, this one is actually a good build to a good quality uh, the arms come off same way. They're pivoted right there. I don't. I haven't tried pulling this out, so I don't know if it can come out. Um, the hands are a little tough to get out, but you can pull them out. Same thing as those. They rotate all the way around. You can do it with the other arm as well. But again, we'll start the face. Good quality of the design print, whatever you want to say. Uh, you can't feel it, so it is flush with the face. Uh, it looks good, again, with the head being uh, able to swivel and remove. That's nice. Uh, again, good build quality on the body. Um, you can see where it is connected. It came all together already. I know I've seen some of these where they're uh, already taken apart. Moving the legs out of the way, you can see this would be the uh, Age of Ultron uh, Hulk due to the pants, the purple pants with the design on them. You can see uh, the A right there. Uh, not too bad on the printing. Not as good as other people or other companies, but it's decent. Can't complain about it. Feet are nice. I do like that the uh, pants uh, has such a definite like rip at the end for the feet to show and where the waist is. Not too much printing with him, but uh, he's a good mini fig or a big fig, and I do like him. I'm actually happy with this one. So we'll set him down onto the next one. Let's grab this one because he's kind of in the same same thing. We got an Iron Man here. Uh, I think this is the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming Iron Man. Actually, it is because it's the uh, robotic suit. Um, one thing with the knockoff minifigs is that the heads are very tight on the pieces when you put them on, so I can't actually get the head off. It takes a lot of force. But since there's no printing, it's just the translucent blue uh, minifig head. That's all i got to show. Uh, face print and design is good. Nothing to complain about there. You can tell it's not the same as the real brand, but it's nice. Uh, these are just like how uh, he has the thrusters on his hands and feet. You can tell these are for sure fake because the studs just look terrible. So those are coming off. Now we'll check out his chest and torso. You can see he's got the uh, a lot of the silver armor, and then you can see the chest reactor and the red on the chest area. Shoulders are silver. A lot of gold in this one. Actually, it's uh, a really nice printer design on this one, too. Can't complain about this one. I'm actually happy with it as well. Coming down to the waist and legs, you can see printing more of the armor. Super nice, surprisingly. Shows up really nice. Uh, no printing on the sides. Printing on the back, again, is as good as the front. Probably one of the best knockoffs I have as well. The thing you can tell that these are knockoffs is if you take them apart and you look at the legs completely different. Could look similar but completely different. And the hands are a little thinner. And then if you take out the hand, uh, that, that's pretty similar but you can just tell it's a shiny it's a shiny plastic material just not the same. But he's a good minifig. Iron Man Homecoming. Happy with him. They had a bunch. They had a bunch of um, Marvel, DC and they had a bunch of uh, um, uh, Star Wars uh, minifigs at the one booth I went to. On to the next guy, you can see this is Star-Lord from, I want to say Guardians of the Galaxy 2 version. 
uh, like the beginning of the movie when they're fighting the obelisk. But uh, this one I'm actually happy with two to the design. Uh, sadly, he only came with one gun, which is his famous blaster, or one of them. But starting at the uh, helmet, you can see he's got the uh, mask on or helmet on, and you can see the gold actually looks really nice. The per, uh, like pink purple eyes show up really nice. Uh, good printing quality on the face. Hair shows up sticking through the helmet uh, a little bit off. You can see there's um, some mismarking right there too, like painting wise. But overall, it looks good. Um, his helmet is super hard to get off without tearing the face off, so hold on. There we go, got it. Uh, this face print is, the skin tone to it is like terrible. It looks a little translucent in person. Um, it just looks pale. It's a good design and quality, but it's just, the, the head um, is not fitting. Here's the other side. The flesh tone is just off, which is killing me. It just throws it off. So I'm going to put the helmet back on because I'm happy with the helmet. Throw that back on. Coming to the chest and torso. You can see. Uh, good printing on this one too, or design. Uh, I'm happy with it. Looks nice quality at least. Uh, it doesn't feel like if I scratch it, it's going to uh, scratch away too easily, surprisingly. <laughs> I try not to buy knockoffs, but sometimes people want to see them, so I'll try to get them. Coming to the waist and legs, you can see printing down to his uh, legs looks pretty nice as well. Uh, nothing to really complain about. Again, these are far better than most I've had. No printing on the sides. Printing on the back, nice jetpack, thrusters on there, gold on there, silver shows up nice. And then again, you can tear them apart. You can tell his inside is completely different from the other one. The legs are a little similar. But that is Star-Lord. Get his gun, throw him on a stand, get him lined up. Now, these next four are not that good, especially this one. So, you can already tell who this is, Wolverine. I don't like the face print at all. He came with one claw, which was really disappointing. But I don't like the face print, it just looks weird. The hair piece is correct, but look at his face. His eyes are so close, it's all like shoved up to the top. The beard and mouth are probably the only thing accurate. He's got a bunch of wrinkles on his face. No back printing to the face. Yeah, just, just not happy with this face. It looks very mean, yeah, but it's not, not that good. Coming out of the chest and torso, you can see he's got his X-Men suit on. It's very simple. It's just some gold lines. Not too, nothing too thrilling about it. Uh, his hands are super thin. That's how knockoffs work. They're just super thin. Coming out of the waist and legs, you can see again... Super thin line, gold lines, nothing really thrilling about. Does have side printing on the arms. None on the legs, same as this side. And then to the back, again, nothing too thrilling, just gold lines. Yeah, it gets the suit across, but it's just not that thrilling. So I was a little disappointed in this Wolverine minifig. Give him his one claw. But that's Wolverine. Throw him on a stand. Got another one. This one's pretty cool. I wish this was an official idea, but I don't see it being one. Uh, this is Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. Uh, he's the one who can stretch. Don't know what the gold diamond's about, or the yellow diamond. Uh, again, I wish he could... Uh, I wish he was official, because this version looks really cool. Uh, Mr. Fantastic can stretch to um, crazy lengths. Uh, face design is not that good. Don't really know why it's this face. His tongue's sticking out. Really weird. You can see they painted the gold on the side of the head. Or the hair, I mean. Because he's got a little bit of gold. Or, uh, sil sorry. He's got a little bit of gray hair in there. I don't think he has back printing to his face. And he does not. Uh, this is Reed Richards also, if you didn't know. Uh, the thing I do like is the long arms, long legs, makes him stand out to other minifigs. He is taller. Uh, print design is decent. Uh, it gets the point on the suit across. Uh, again, I do like the long legs on the long arms because it looks like he's stretching out. No printing on the sides. Printing on the back is just the back of the suit. Very simple. Again, you can see he has three holes instead of two, like the traditional minifigs would have. 
and then he is um, he can be compared to the Hulk starting at the base you can see he's a normal minifig would be just about like here so he's like two-thirds tall but again if this was an official idea it'd be a solid idea for you know who to do but anyways that's Mr. Fantastic with a yellow diamond don't really know why throw him on a stand Next one, they did have Invisigirl, so I had to grab her too, just to kind of have a, a pair at least. Um, she's got some of her electric beams coming out of her hands, some odd reason. Uh, her face design is just terrible, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, if you look at this, uh, look where her lips are and where her mouth is. That looks like a mustache, a very bad mustache. And it just looks weird. And then coming to the other head, this this side's a little decent. Um, she the lips are in the lipsticks in the right spot. Lips are correctly. Uh, it's kind of slid over a little more to this the right side of her face or left side if you're her. Um, so I'm gonna leave this face. Uh, printing on the chest is good. It looks like her uh, her suit. Pretty simple. Same as uh, Mr. Fant uh, Mr. Incre uh, what is it? Mr. Fantastic. Uh, Reed Richards suit. I think the belt is different. Yeah, so he has just the black belt across. She doesn't. Uh, the fours are a little different. Uh, no printing on the legs, none on the sides. On the back is just simple structure to the body. Again, though, not the best one either. This next one I think is just terrible. And I like the minifig that it is, but I'm not happy with them. Gotta grab one more stand. So next one, I know who it is. This is Spawn. I want an official version of him. It would be awesome. This one I am just not happy with. Uh, the cape is very paper-like thin and flimsy. So nothing really thrilling about that. It's the right cape. I'll just leave it up. But nothing too interesting about it. It's got a nice shine to it, I guess. Uh, coming to his face, you can see he's got the green eyes, which are very thin, hard to see. The white on his face. Uh, it's not that thrilling to me. The chest, coming out of the chest and torso, you can see he's got the chain for his cape on around his neck. Uh, don't really know what else is going on. I guess that's his muscle structure. He has another chain with a skull on his lower waist. Yeah, nothing too thrilling about that. No printing of legs, none of the sides, on the back. He's got the V, I guess. Don't really know. Um, it's just not that not that good of a design to the minifig. See inside him. Uh, yeah, I don't. A little disappointed in this one. I don't know really why I got him. Uh, he could be better. He could be much better. So I hope to see like an official version of this, like the real branded, just custom one. But yeah, this one's not too thrilling. Spawn. A little disappointed. Like him as a character though, really uh, a lot. But those are all the minifigs from Motor City Comic Con that I got this year. Uh, I know, again, I know they're fakes. They have nothing to do with real Legos, anything like that. These are knockoffs, fakes, whatever you want to call them, uh, off brand. Uh, again, be sure to check out my other one. Link will be down below. If you like the video, leave a like. Let me know what you think of the video. If you want to get me, if you want me to get more off brand or fake or anything like that, uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.